Welcome to uh, EVE Online. I'm Major Freak. This is going to be a bit... So you're an alpha character. and Or you have Omegas with alpha characters. And you're wondering... How can I get the most out of my alpha character? It's called a silver pack. Now, you can just buy the... Um, it... it the packs used to be great. The, you could get a starter kit that would give you a week's worth of Omega. Super cheap, super awesome. You could buy it all for your alphas. And then you'd have a week. And what you would do is you would you'd have that ability to train up your Infomorph Psychology and your Cybernetics. So you'd train up Infomorph Psychology. You get Advanced Infomorph Psychology. You get your Cybernetics up a lot. See, now Cyber... Cybernetics, um, it's great. Cybernetics level one, you can use so much. You can get with an alpha character with just, you know, uh, level three, level one cybernetics will give you an amazing amount of, uh, like, look, you can get the beta, you can even get the basic, which is plus three, plus three bonus to intelligence. And it's, uh, I think it's 20 million each. Anyway, so yeah, it's, it's awesome totally totally recommend it uh but of course once you get up to level three you you can get some high grade stuff like up to gamma and i think you can get uh high grade delta yeah you can get some high grade deltas uh but as for getting the epsilon that's all the epsilons are totally and the omegas too absolutely the omegas are totally out of class so what you do is you get level five cybernetics and it's a training time multiplier of times three and this is a training time multiplier of times one now if you get um level five which is a training time of times five it's going to be a bit longer this would be the skill you would train up after you got cybernetics and Infomorph to five, then you would go drain your li uh, remaining time on your on your limited omega of your week um, into advanced infomorph until you probably got to level three, and then then you would time out and go back to alpha. But you've got it. You've got your cybernetics to five. You've got a lot of um, a lot of skill. And before before you ran out of time on your omega, what you do is you plug it what. You go around to uh, say find a cheap uh, a cloning service, plug in a clone, switch it out, go to Jita, plug in a bunch of really good implant sets. Because you, this is assuming you've got an Omega and you've got lots of money coming in, you can afford this kind of thing. Because Omega sets can run up to billions, like easily two billion, uh, if you're not careful. Uh, I always go with. High grade for alpha beta, mid grade for uh, gamma delta, and then low grade for epsilon um, omega. That'll keep the price within a billion, uh, probably just over a billion. Um, there are some sets like Talisman, and there are other sets you can find that are super, super, like Halo, super cheap, dirt cheap. Halo is great for you, and it lowers your sig radius if say if you're flying a bomb well you can't fly a bomber as you're and you're an alpha but it lowers your sig radius you can sig tank very well um and also the talisman is great for uh if you're a logi it's great for that now then um but of course since you're alpha you'd only be able to contribute but still you would be able to contribute meaningfully you, you wouldn't be capping out all the time uh so plug in your implants Go back, plug in another uh, implant set somewhere else, switch that out for a fresh clone, go back to Jita, do the whole, uh, just rinse and repeat. Um, if you run out of money, no problem, just just plug in as many fresh clones as possible all over the place. Once you do that, you're golden. Now you can go back to Alpha, you can actually get the benefits of... Uh, Omega implants as long as you've got it's like say you, you can plug in like rigs like you don't have a skill for rigs But you can use it and get that it's the same mechanic. Well relative Like 
um, the mechanics of um, uh, tech two or whatever the stuff you don't have the skill for making you can plug it in and use it um, that's basically the thing you your skills are low but the implants you've got okay so definitely recommend it highly recommend it once you really get up to speed with your alphas and want to take the you know take advantage of the best you've got um do that um the benefit now you're thinking oh wait but if i'm an alpha and i can't get any more clones i'm gonna die and then i'll lose that clone well yes you'll lose the implants but you'll still have that many clones because remember you get a free extra clone well a free clone as as your medical clones so you will spawn in a fresh clone at your medical bay or sorry at your home station now so you never really lost the amount of clones you've got after you you know did all the omega stuff and went back to alpha you, you won't lose clones unless of course uh you have to be really careful about where you put like this super careful about where you put your clones because these are your most valuable things they're like your clones are like an abandoned state all the time if that upwell goes poof or somebody rips out that that uh that service your clone goes poof so it's like an abandoned state all the time so you have to be super careful about where you put your clones the best idea i've ever had for keeping your clone super safe if you don't trust any clone service and you really shouldn't that's why i have my own clone services <laughs> um is to put them in like slowly put it takes a day to coop for the cooldown of jumping be between stations but what you do or at, if you're at NPC and you switch clones so what you do is you take your current clone that you've got in uh, whatever and you go to an NPC station and simply clone jump into one of your other clones at a, a player station and then a day later you can do the same thing and you gotta rinse lather repeat therefore you've got all your very valuable clones in NPC stations there you go okay so you've got so many clones so many really good implants you can't install anymore but you can use so that's what I would suggest and now that you don't have the choice of a week anymore you might get it on Steam pretty sure you can get it on Steam I didn't really check but anyways, the stuff you can get on the website isn't that great anymore. It used to be so awesome. What you do is you would bide your time. Once a year, they have a, well, hopefully they still do it, but wait till they have the sale of 50% off of the, their packs. They, they, they would always do it in the past um, when they had the old packs. Hopefully they do it again. I think it's in... Uh, it's, it's between... I think it's November, but it could be... I'd like to say it's summer, but I think it's, I suspect it's more like November when they would do it. Anyways, once a year, they'd 50% off, and this would be an awesome deal. This is pretty much break-even. Uh, yeah, these days, the pack, they, they, they always were break-even. But once they do the 50% sale, yeah, it's like a great deal. Uh, yeah, absolutely is a great deal. You can only get it once, though. So remember that once per account in your lifetime. And it's nice that they renewed this so everybody can get packs again, yada yada. And I'll wait till it's 50% off. And I'll buy these packs for my Omegas because it's like so win. Because, you know, you just be patient. Don't don't splurge. Be patient. And that's my uh, recommendation. Absolutely, right? So uh, let's go back to the other packs. Yeah, the um, so bronze pack. Uh, I don't think that has Omega time. That's the problem because it, you just have to start. All right, no. Uh, you details. Okay, so the, I checked. It doesn't have the. See, it doesn't have the omega time. Unfortunately, so it's really not worth it at all. Don't don't get it. It's not worth it. Yeah, if it doesn't have omega time, why the hell are you getting it? Hey, if it's just percent off, it might give you a bit of stuff. So yeah, wait till the. But yeah, the main one you go for is the silver pack absolutely um and yeah you can you can totally do that absolutely um the gold pack and the platinum pack and stuff like i would wait till you become omega 
before like yeah if you're omega get all the, get the packs it's great but if you're alpha just just stick with the solar pack you know maybe the bronze pack but yeah definitely stick with the silver pack just to get that month that first little bit get your get your the, those skills i talked about and do it so wait till you made it to get that you know the, the stuff when it's 50 percent off when it's 50 percent off because you're not saving and it's not a great deal it's actually a i think it's a bloody rip off the new packs <laughs>